Two million dollars from Binance Smart Chain. <laughs> oh, hello there. I didn't see you all come in. Welcome to my stream. And today we're going to talk about Cherry Computer. <laughs> vacuum only bike. Uh, this is my website, geohot.com, if you don't know it. And if y'all don't know my slogan, y'all know my slogan. All right. Um, this is my blog, and I wrote this new blog post this morning. I will paste the link to it in the chat, and we're here to have a conversation about whether I should start an AI chip company. And your input can matter. Um, I also registered my domain name this morning for my 2024 presidential run. Uh, so that's very exciting. Um, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the theme of it and the theme of it is shut it down. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about this. Uh, so we're gonna go through the AI chip companies that are out there. And then we're gonna talk about whether we should make our own company uh, if it's a good idea or a bad idea. What do I think Dojo will be like? I think it's like, uh, oh, well actually, okay. So we, we, we can talk about, we can talk about Tesla's chip. Actually, we should probably add a uh, section of this blog post. Let me just get my blog post editor up here. Um, we should probably add a section about already existing ones. So th these are all the, uh, so let's just, Maybe you want to go with an H3? Maybe an H3 is more appropriate. Get rid of that. Maybe we go with an H2. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, cool. Um, so we're like doing a survey of the space here. So for companies, we have NVIDIA, uh, we have Google, uh, and we have Tesla. With deployed chips, okay. and uh, actually, we can also say Qualcomm because I know a lot about that one. Um, I have a few notes in the tiny grad repo that maybe we'll just bring in. Uh, oh, and yeah, we should also should say Apple. New Snapdragon processors have a GPU and uh, DSP. GPU. Without the DSP, since it can't uh, be easily used. For training, uh, did I hear about Atari AI? Oh, oops, no, that's not the right link. Sorry, that's my internal link. There's a link. Um, oh, and Rockem. Oh yeah, we should talk about Rockem too. That's a good point. Uh, Nvidia, AMD, Google, Tesla, Apple, Qualcomm. Over. Without chips, you can buy. Uh, 
Um, so you can't really, well, that's a little big. H3, is H3 better? Yeah, and then I kind of did like that BR. I really want a half BR. Do you guys want to make a half BR? Let's sort them by use. Um, and these three are only really inference. So we might want to rule them out. Anari AI. Uh, for training. Void ships for inference. What is this? I mean, I actually, you know what? I actually like the vibe. <laughs> Anari AI. Here, I'll read you something. Every day starts with a revolution. Sunlight breaks the dark, passes through windows, overcomes the walls, and illuminates corners. Hundreds of shadows cover the space, and straight lines lose their definitions. And then, everything is just about free movement that surpasses established shapes. We dare step outside the straight line. We dare to create a new movement. Do you dare to be the revolution? We're dreaming about possibilities. An era of... As long as nobody actually gave these people money, it's actually pretty funny. Oh, a personalized chip. Wait, did someone give these money from Nard Dog Serbia? We don't create a product, we create possibilities. Wait, this has to be a troll. No, no, this didn't, no, nobody gave these people money, right? <laughs> okay, 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 someone gave them two million dollars, all right. Uh, we don't create a product, we create possibilities. All right, two million dollars is enough for like, you know, like, I've lost that bet on the Packers. Like, it's not a big deal. I don't know. Um, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a scam. All right. So we have, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to take these ones out. This is really only, and I'm actually going to take, I guess we'll keep AMD. You know what, maybe we'll just keep Tesla since like they have a chip and like it's unclear if you can really train on it. I don't know. No, none of these people have training stacks. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna rule them out. Um Google. The TPU is uh, based around TensorFlow. While it does work with PyTorch, it relies the on the king of AI chips. Thirty ninety isn't even a bad deal. Problem is the ten X overpriced A one hundred. Well, it's not actually ten X overpriced. We'll, we'll say it's five X overpriced. Reminds you of Cheetos. Originally, we were thinking potato for the name. What do you guys think? And the fact that they are, and the fact that, one, they are a monopoly. What? Oh, you want them in the washing machine or the tub or something? Those plants are plastic. I think they just need to be washed and like rinsed. I'll do it 
Um, and two, oh no, not that they are a company. Uh, they are a monopoly. That's the word I was going for. And two, the chips are still mainly designed as gaming GPUs oh, with AI as what? So many keys. Oh, still my car? Yeah. Take my car, but yeah, you have to bring back Red Bull and Crash Bar. I, I'm gonna get a cake, I'm gonna get Red Bull and Crash Bars. What else would you like for your house? Can I get the key? I need the garage open. Oh, I need the garage open. What are the what the hell these other keys are? They got all my things. They what? They got all my things. Can I just take all the keys? We need a door. I need a door. I need a door. I want my door. I need a door in case I want to go outside. You stole while you're streaming. You want to take it with you. Guys, I'm a bio hobbyist. I actually am. This stuff I actually know a lot about. <laughs> Thank you. But what about my other keys? What if I have to open something with them? What do you mean? I'll be back in two hours. What if I have to open something with them? What are you going to have to open, George? I don't know. Well, let's look at all the keys. You have so many. Do they uh, do anything? I don't think anything do anything. So open your Why would I have keys that don't do anything? Look at these three. They're going to copy my keys. If you keep showing them on camera like that. Look at those three. Oh, you guys. What? <laughs> Rob George is. Uh, yeah. This, this one we got a lot of money in this one. <laughs> a lot of money. Jokes on you, money. boys. Okay. Um, Red Bull Crunch Bar. Anything else? More drinks. Do you want more spaghetti? Do you want pancake mix? Oh yeah, everything. Air chips. Oh no, I don't eat chips. It's just bad for me. But some pastas that aren't spaghetti, because spaghetti is as stupid you know as I mean. pasta. Not much red sauce sticks to it. Doesn't fit in the okay, pot. Red sauce. Yeah, but That's not much red sauce. I want to complain more about spaghetti. Penne al vodka. Oh, I don't know how to make that. That's too hard. That involves cream and you know stuff. What I mean, like the vodka sauces? Do you want that? Nah, it's cream. It's like weird. It sketches me out. It's like a okay. marinara, but it's so more rouse. more rouse. Yeah, I love rouse. Yeah. That's best. Okay, anything else you want? Uh. Spaghetti's trash to your pasta, yeah. Would, they're, you, they're, they're would you be board. okay with the health versions of a crunch bar? Like a, like if no! Go, like if I don't go to, because then I only have to go to one grocery store. Like what if All I right. brought you an energy drink that's like Red Bull? It's taurine, but it's no, not Red Bull. I want a Red Bull and a crunch bar. Just run by 7-Eleven. I want like a knockoff Red Bull. You want to bring you a knockoff Red Bull and no, crunch bar? No, no. Just try it one time, one time. If you also bring a Red Bull and crunch bar. Okay. It's the okay. lunch of champions. You know what's not lunch of champions? Okay. Like uh, like a like a, a a a rojo toro with you know <laughs> rojo toro. What do you think? We'll get in. Okay. All of the energy drinks other than Red Bull taste like piss. Red Bull only slightly. I agree with this guy. And does the chat have any grocery requests? I would like that dress. She doesn't want to go to two stores. <laughs> I think it's reasonable to not want to go to two stores. Yeah. Broccoli? George does need to eat more greens. Cheetos. That guy wants a crunch bar. You get him a crunch bar, but he's not a subscriber. Oh, potatoes. So. I'll give you some potatoes. Will you eat them? No. You just put them in the microwave and you put butter on it, it's good. When you talk with that voice, you know it's not going to happen. You just try to say it real fast so you think, <laughs> you think it's going to happen. Breadsticks. Blueberry juice. Churros. Oh, you, like, do you, like, oh, you don't like yogurt. Ooh, chicken tenders. Oh, yes. Tendies? Tendies. Tendies. Yes, yes, yes. Platypie Party 8 knows what's up. Tendies? Okay. Yeah, you need some tendies. What else do you snack on? Uh, all I know how to make is like pasta and chicken tenders and eggs. I need some eggs though. Eggs. Okay. That's all I know how to make really. Okay. You know? No, you make great steak. Yeah, I can make a decent steak. Remember, remember the burger episode? Oh yeah, but that was only for TV. 
You know what I mean? I couldn't like do that in my real life. Oh, do you want more French fries too? The frozen ones? No, yeah, those are kind of gross. I think they're good. Yeah, waffle fries. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, pancetta. You, you Ooh, some avocados. I avocados? do. I do like making guac. Well, then I'm gonna okay. get chips too. Yeah. I know. I'll get you chips. Yeah, right. I'll get stuff for guac. I'll see you later. Bye bye. All right, boys. Uh, they say bye, Alex. Oh, they want Eggo waffles. <laughs> um. Okay. While it does work with PyTorch, it is really meant to have things compiled. Tensor cores have an insane number of flops. It's almost impossible to keep them fed. This is to keep them fed from memory or even cache. Thirty-two tensor cores have an insane number of flops. Uh, Blocking the text. Right, where do you want to go? Can Jekyll do live updates? Uh, I don't know. I'll refresh it here. Here we go. And then we're gonna go through. We're gonna go through these. Uh, we're gonna look at GraphCore. We're gonna look at Grok. They do both have good technical reports. Uh, Tens Torrent has almost nothing, and I don't think Cerebus actually has very much. But like. Is this not, like, this is really pitching to the dumbest money. Like, you have to understand how big our chip is. So the only thing I really wrote about Cerebus was, we make a big chip. Chip really big. Big must be good because big. Big chip mean big investment. Um... Uh, yeah, I wrote memory. Yeah, memory works. Yeah, 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 memory works for my, for my CPO. Sorry, I did it all off stream. But um, yeah, the memory works. We still don't have any pipelining. Uh, but I fixed memory. I even fixed some unaligned stuff. So it's pretty good. Uh, all right, let's keep working on this. I meant to have things compiled uh, and laid out in RAM in specific ways. This is push it to software pattern that I see fail over and over. Um, and then AMD. I don't really know much about AMD. 
similar downsides to NVIDIA, but with much less investment in uh, the software side. I don't know anybody who uses these to train. Yeah, rock. <laughs> I almost want to. I almost want to. Uh, I almost want to copy and paste that quote. <laughs> I'm stealing your quote, bro. Do you want to be attributed? So, AKA unusable in practice. Okay. No, we don't need an image in the markdown. Uh, it's too hard. Okay. Guys, on topic. Um, I mean, <laughs> NVIDIA's trash software, it's even worse. Uh, who makes big chips? Service. Okay, so this is my pitch for a company. Uh, I pitched to Alex this morning, so this isn't fresh. But um, so I own the domain name cherry.computer. There's nothing there yet, but I think that's a pretty good name. Uh, we'll like put cherries on the chips, you know? Um, so our goal would be to beat NVIDIA and build training chips that are 10x better. Read faster for training. And we're going to get this 10x um, because our memory will be able to basically feed our tensor cores. Uh, we don't even need a chip that says complex. Um, Cherry computer is great. Um, and cost 10x less. 10x faster at training because of the memory bandwidth. Um, and cost 10x less um, because we aren't uh, overcharging and can omit all GPU silicon. Uh, to feed our tensor cores same GDC business model just with purpose built uh, so I, I think maybe it's redundant if I uh, yeah no, I should leave that okay fine um, so I've been working on an extension to risk 5 it's in the tiny guide repo these are the uh, instructions there's the DMA the DMA ones you can do whatever but uh, really like load, store, and map mall are your three basic ones. Um, if you want to do like a map mall of any size, uh, including with transposes, that's like the code to do it. You can imagine writing that in C and compiling it to, to risk five. Um, I called it risk architecture with a K, but I think we'll call it, you know, the cherry extensions. Um, how are we going to manufacture it? So we'll get there. Um, don't worry, this is all in the business plan. 
Yeah, well, so it's not risk five. it's an extension that includes a matrix multiply uh, unit and a few other wide vector style instructions. I would support only the TF32 data type, uh, which is 19 bits. Yeah, TensorFloat32. Uh, TensorFloat32 is 19 bits. And because we have to do, because the precision in TF32 is only 10 bits and not 23 bits, basically TensorFlow 32 took the range from FP32, but the precision from FP16. And I think the precision is where you burn a lot of your power. Um, I don't know what Moses is. The A100 is kind of a dedicated ML chip, but it still reuses all of their Turing architecture. Uh, the chips are still, oh, sorry, mainly designed. One, we have a monopoly. Um, okay, so I would support only the TF32 data type, which is 19 bits, so it would work well with training out of the box uh, without... Uh, without gradient scaling. I think it's called gradient scaling. If you want to train PyTorch, gradient scaling. Uh, so yeah, without gradient scaling. Yeah, the problem is like, like you can do all this, but what you're doing with gradient scaling is you're just moving this, like you're adding all this complexity so you can train in float 16. And like, I just don't think it's a good idea. Add three more bits to your hardware and then it seems to work fine. Um, so when you look, the problem is if you look at uh, like FP16, it doesn't have range. So because it doesn't have those three bits of range, you're effectively having to hack that back in with a gradient scaler. And it's just really stupid. Like just put the range in your hardware. Um, which is really just hacking the range back in. A ton of software complexity, complexity to hack the larger range in into FP16. To work well with training out of the box without grading scaling, which shows a ton of software complexity to hack the larger uh, floating point range into FP16. Well, training with smaller data types is possible, it's super annoying. A lesson that seems to be forgotten over and over again is that VLIW doesn't work. So Intel made this chip called Itanium. Uh, maybe, should I make those links? Those are kind of, I'm gonna link to Wikipedia on these. Like, I'm not even sure if this stuff tells you like the problems. <sighs> Wait, that's crazy. Where's ARM? Hmm. I didn't even really see it yet. Uh, So yeah, and fancy multi-core doesn't work. So the Cell SPE was the uh, co-processor used in the PlayStation 3 and all the developers hated it because it's just really annoying to use. You have to make a chip people love to program in hardware. Otherwise you push it to software and it never happens. How is that Itanium compiler coming along? Uh, I've been learning computer architecture recently. I wrote a RISC-V core in a day. I think the idea is a single RISC-V core. So like, and Grok gets this right. We're going to go through their white paper and figure out what the problem with Grok is in a minute. Um, because I've heard from good, trusted sources that uh, there's problems with Grok, and we're going to figure out what they are. Uh, with a really wide decode path and good out-of-order support. Um, the M1 
uh, Apple M1 has a 630 element uh, reorder buffer. Um, we won't uh, even need this much to keep our max fed. Uh, well, the argument against uh, this sort of architecture This sort of architecture uh, is that it uses power, right? Um, I spelled that wrong. There's no, there's no like that. Um, so you first hear like you can't do things like this because yeah, I'll, I'll link the well, it's not the latest one yet, so I guess. Uh, you don't want to do this kind of stuff because it's going to burn a lot of power. This is only a problem if you have a lot of, like you're building something that looks like a GPU with a lot of cores. Uh, it, if we're building one core in the first version of the chip, um, like who cares? Because uh, yeah, it'll be dwarfed by power used by the FMAX. Um, I don't think the branch predictor needs to be that good and it's identical every run through. So you don't need a great branch predictor, which is one of the hardest parts of modern processors, uh, because we can just, after you run it once, the branch predictor should get it right every time. Um, live streaming blogging. Mythic AI analog chip. See, this is the kind of dumb shit. You know, you see all this dumb shit from these companies where like, this is the future, this is the future. Don't build the future, just build something good with today's technology. No one's even done this. There's 10X, we can build chips that are 10X faster at training than NVIDIA. And we can cost, to cost 10X less. 2X of that comes from silicon, 5X of that comes from not being a monopoly. Um, yeah, you can build a GPU, yeah, Intel Arabi, but these are bad ideas, right? Uh, GPUs have these very simple instruction sets because, okay. Computing is basically, and this is straight out of Jim Keller's Lex Friedman. Computing is six operations. Uh, you have adds and multiplies, which are on DSPs. Um, you have adds, multiplies, loads, and stores, which are on GPUs. And then you have adds, multiplies, loads, stores, compare, and branch, which are on CPUs. All right, so GPUs, compare, and branch is very, very expensive for GPUs. Um, load and store is very, very expensive for DSPs. Yo, if you weren't a Twitch Prime subscriber bringing up some Roko's Basilisk shit, I'd kick you right now. Um, too off topic. Who, who cares? Well, homomorphic encryption is more fake shit. Uh, like, it's kind of real, but like, again, no one's using it. So, yeah, we can build chips that are both 10x faster and cost 10x less. And when you multiply those two together, so we'll, we'll go through what the business model of the, uh, of the company is. Uh, but it's basically this. So my first step would be to write open source Verilog implementing this core that can run in this FPGA card. Or maybe as another option, there's also these squirrel forest kittens that somebody mentioned. Run in the... Or the, these things are meant to be crypto miners, but it's just a big Xilinx FPGA. Um, according to my initial benchmarks, assuming one instruction per cycle and a one gigahertz clock speed, this would comfortably outperform a 3090. Uh, this FPGA card costs $7,500, so it wouldn't be cost effective to use, but this is the common Neo of AI chips. It will be adopted by hobbyists. Uh, I don't think we have to raise any money in order to do this since we're not doing any tape out. We're just building hype, which is what we're doing right now in the stream. Um, and we're just writing open source code. So my second step would be to do a 10K unit tape out of this chip as an ASIC. 
Uh, I'm hearing it's going to cost about $5 million for a reasonable 12, millimeter, 12 nanometer process node to get the 10K chips. Uh, one core, 20 megs of SRAM, last gen PCIe, a couple of gigs of slowish DDR, 75 watt TDP. Um, I think the audience for this card would be pretty broad. A uh, thousand bucks. Who would buy a card that has the same AI performance as a 3090? And viewers we got. You wouldn't? Why not? I mean, how many of you own, how many, well, how about this? How many of you own uh, a graphics card that you bought primarily for, for ML? You'd pay 2K for 3090 performance. Okay, because the software support's not on par. And that's true. Um, the software support at launch, so I talk a little bit about software down here. Uh, the first card, the Cherry 1, which is the FPGA, would only have TinyGrad support. But what we can do in TinyGrad is we can benchmark all the modern ML models while we figure it out. And then it'll be pretty easy to add PyTorch. And we will have PyTorch support. The software is only hard if you've written some fancy shit, right? Um, uh, the biggest one, one of the biggest problems with, with uh, non-NVIDIA training solutions is terrible software support. This isn't because it's hard to write. It's because it's hard to write with performance for weird architecture chips. This, since this chip is a single core wide decode path superscalar, writing the code should be very easy. Even to support all. We're all of PyTorch with decent performance. Like it's it's not that hard. Um, I think also that like when this thing comes out, like the people who are going to be playing with this one, or even some of the people who are going to be playing with this one, are going to be writing the for. Uh, I should say the weird architecture chips these companies came up with. Uh, since this chip is, uh, sorry, not single chip, single core. performance scale with multi-chip. So multi-chip is easy. Uh, so people think that you need some like crazy high bandwidth between your chips if you're trying to do multi-chip. As long as batch size one, uh, Cherry Computer is an awesome name and DJ Dre, what the hell kind of name is that? Um, semiconductor projects are marathons. Uh, with insane advantages just because of the on-chip SRAM capacities. The, the on-chip SRAM capacity is not that big of a deal. Um, if, if you... Uh, yes, and, and NVIDIA will have one more generation after us. So, you know, it's going to be a moderate improvement to, to, to what we have. 
uh, unless NVIDIA decides to massively invest in AI, but I, I really don't think they will. Uh, and it's because companies don't think there's value in training and they're wrong because, okay, we, I mean, I'm not gonna like pitch that. That's like a stupid business thing. You know, what I'm gonna do to get investors for this is like, I'm not, I'm not like pitching you some like business case. Like I'm pitching you these steps. You either think it's gonna work or it's not. Um, so it is true that NVIDIA will be one generation ahead by the time we come out with the Cherry 3. Um, and I'm targeting three years to do this whole thing. So yeah, the Cherry 2 would be a 10K unit tape out of the chip as an ASIC. We sell 10,000 cards, kind of on a Kickstarter maybe even. So like raising the 10 mil, the 10K cards at $1,000 might actually just be a Kickstarter. Um, it's user-friendly and easy to program. And then if the Cherry 2 goes well and we get some real traction with it, go, so not a single one of these companies, despite having over $100 million in funding, has a chip that I can buy. I make a chip, simple chip, I'm talking of 12 nanometer, nothing crazy. Uh, and I think it would be competitive with a 3090. So our 3090 is taped out in eight nanometer. Um, but you know, they, they didn't, it's not really the right thing. Uh, what's wrong with building an inference chip? God, there's no market for that. I don't want that. I don't want to go into that. That's that's stupid. Um, let's just say this: Is the human brain an inference machine? No, it's not. No brains are inference machines. Brains do training and inference. Training is going to be a serious part of the whole future. Stop thinking like these fucking loser companies who are like, we're just going to train one model and we're going to push it out to everybody, and that's it. That's all they get. Um, so what about the perf per watt? I'm, I'm not even like, a lot of these um, companies are, I'll, 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 let me, I'll, I'll push the blog and then. This will update, so. Watt is like it's important, but it's not as important as a lot of these companies uh, say it is. The most important thing is utilization. I don't care if your chip can do a peta flop, but all it can do is a peta flop of zeros multiplied by zeros, which is what a lot of this crap is. Like, if you haven't well balanced, say, your memory interface with your compute, then there's no point. Um, and nobody, I haven't seen any company that's talking seriously about their cache bandwidth. Uh, which is what matters. Okay, so my third step would be to build a serious version of this chip on a modern process node, 16 cores, just stick 16 of these things on one chip, um, you know, connect them with anything. I, I could connect them with, with, with any sort of bus, maybe not PCIe, but there's like internal versions of PCIe. Uh, or maybe they even just could be connected through the DDR. Uh, you probably want some, like you want to support like nickel primitives. Um, all right, I'll add a little note about that. Uh, I'll add a few with style primitives. Yeah. People think multi is, 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 is hard and it's only hard if you can't, if you're trying to scale your model and you can't fit batch size one on the card. If you're trying to scale like a single run with batch size one across multiple chips, it becomes tricky. But if you're not, it's not a big deal. Um, freeze rays are ruined when you have to connect to Wi-Fi. No, but that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good like line. You know what I mean? Uh, no, I think GraphCore scammed their way into, into Azure. I, I think that they have like business development people. Um, oh, there's a few other things I wanted to link to here. I forget what they were. Uh, 16 core with nickel style primitives, 20 megs per core of SRAM. It is true, three nanometer would be incredible. Um, 
Should I add a note about how smaller process node equals faster SRAM? People should know that. Anyone who knows about chips knows about that. Um, I've been thinking about it. I, I've been thinking about starting this company for like a year now. And like, who knows how serious I am this time, but like, this is the whole plan. We'll, we'll see if there's a, a problem with it. Do I really want to do this? Like, not really, but like, I probably will. Uh, I mean, I, there's parts of it that are kind of exciting. Well, we'll get to that in a minute, but okay. So my, my third step would be to build a serious version of this chip on a modern process node, 50 million for the tape out, 16 core. And this is where we're getting the 100X over NVIDIA. We're getting 10X in speed and 10X in price. Um, so I think I wanna make one card. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to link to. I wanna build a single card that can outperform this whole machine. Uh, at this point, I think we'd win the AI chip market, even against, um, even against uh, Nvidia's next generation. Oh, I don't actually want to link to Itanium and stuff. I'm out on that. Um, so at this point, uh, at this point, we flipped the company to at least a billion dollars uh, for anyone bought Nvidia, and they'd be highly financially motivated to incentivize to continue selling the cards to DVC. Um, it should be an easy sell with a 10x revenue multiple, uh, assuming we sell 50k of the Cherry Three cards. Uh, and then the company has achieved three purposes. One, created an open source, high performance, risk five core and ML instruction set. I wanna keep the Verilog open source the whole time. Uh, made a competitor to NVIDIA, I should say in the AI space. Um, in ML. Uh, forcing them to stop charging a 10X premium. And three, taught me how to make chips and further validated comma style businesses. You can see that I pretty much took this exactly from comma. Uh, you know, wait till you guys see the next comma. It's, you know, someday it'll be out, someday, someday. And it's it's really fucking good. Uh, <laughs> you know, like, like the comma one, the comma two, and the comma three. Wait, wait till you guys see it. Um, so what if NVIDIA buys ARM and shuts down Cherry? Did I see that we say that we're using ARM? We're not. I wanna build a high performance risk five core, one core. Uh, I should write a blog post on that business style. What, okay, fucking business influencer. Like, yeah, one day, one day, if Comma succeeds, they'll write some like book about it. And like people can study it like Steve Jobs studied the Walkman or something. But you know, I don't know. I'll have to see if Comma succeeds first. Right? And like if Comma succeeds, is it the business style that fails? So it's not even like really my business style. It's mostly stolen from Oculus, right? Like, I, you know, I remember early on, uh, I was sitting on a bus hanging out with Palmer Lucky and he told me about how he like did this with Oculus. And I'm like, damn, this is actually a really good way to do business. Uh, so we'll sell for 2 billion like Oculus. No, that's shit, I'd sell to Facebook if they wanted to sell the cards. Um, Intel can't shut down Risk Five. Who needs Sci Five? Uh, so, fun fact. Also, the Cherry Three card will have sixteen high performance Risk Five cores on it. So, while it works in one, it doesn't need much of a host computer. Imagine a three K little box um, with basically power and uh, networking that outperforms with uh, only. power and networking that outperforms a DJX. Um, similar to the Facebook Oculus sale. That 
doesn't need to be in parentheses. Uh, so we sell 50k cherry three cards. Um, the company has achieved three purposes, yeah. Uh, fun fact, the cherry three card, yeah, yeah, it's most computer, okay. I think this is doable in three years. Um, the first card, the FPGA, would only have tiny grad support, but it's enough for benchmarking the training of all modern ML models. Um, by the way, you know, I have been thinking about this for quite a long time. Uh, eventually, we will build custom hardware for tiny grad, and it will be blindingly fast. Uh, now it is slow, so we can figure out when I added that line. Uh, let's go to blame here. Six months ago. So that's kind of when I, you know, was, was kind of serious about this. Um, no, the Cherry 2s are a thousand bucks. Stop being poor. Have you heard about uh, inflation? Well, Oculus is a very successful company. Um, and Palmer's doing it again. The man is a genius, you know. Um... Am I gonna benchmark with ML perf? Oh, look at how many wet stones and dry stones my CPU can do. Yeah, I got a core mark spec. No, I'm gonna train a real net. We're gonna use it at comma. I'm gonna train our efficient net B2s. Um, I don't know, guys. Follow me on follow me on uh, on Instagram at George Hots. Posted a fire picture this morning. Um, yo, this picture's fire. Yo, just, just look at this. Is that not a fire? You know what? We can actually go to my Instagram on the computer so I don't have to hold up the thing. Uh, Instagram.com slash George Hots. Look at the, oh my God. Never mind, it sucks. Uh, I don't know how to zoom in, but yo, that picture is fire, boys. Open it in a new tab. Oh, good move. You guys know the, the scam and the Instagram stuff. Yeah, yo, check out that picture. Only, only... Mm. Guy ass pics on the Instagram? Ass, 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 ass. No, that's my Instagram. Check it out. Uh, follow me on uh, Instagram. I gotta... Look at that. Look at this. This means... This, this on the blue check on Instagram, man. You know, you guys want to know the secret? Yeah, never mind. Um, I'm just saying, man, it's not Tinder, it's the DMs with the blue check mark. That's right, the DMs with the blue check mark. Um, slide into the DMs. That's true, boys. That's true. Uh, all right. So, um, I think the open source community will help drive great PyTorch support by the time the second card comes out. Um, uh, judging from, from people, uh, how much was contributed to TinyGrad and uh, how the uh, how people added all the car support to Open Pilot. So I think it's kind of similar with like car support, like and how people uh, added all the car support to Open Pilot um, in the comma one two era. I'm just saying the comma one hour. All right. So, I mean, this is the comma one, cherry one, same idea. Let's call it the eon. Uh, the comma one is, of course, canceled. Uh, after I have the benchmarking done and confirm that I can get 39 new levels of performance from the FPGA card, I will consider incorporating this company and raising money. Only investors who are aligned with overall value creation in the world would be allowed to invest. Um, and if you're interested in working at Cherry Computer, uh, start contributing to TinyGrad. We'll, we'll include another link to TinyGrad because like TinyGrad is, is where a lot of this stuff's gonna happen. Mm. 
we'll get rid of this link to tiny grad so we don't have too many tiny grad links. Uh, so I hear like to actually do these tape outs now. From what I've heard, you you just need to uh, you just need to like you get the Verilog and then you can send it to a pretty much turnkey place. Um, oh my god, I bought one of them. Everyone bought them. They kind of suck, but like everyone bought what the the uh, the uh, Quest Two. Uh, well, I'm not linking Open Pilot. No, I don't like Open Pilot. All right, who wants to see Cherry Computer be real? <laughs> Cherry MX makes switches. We make chips. Very different. Uh, of course you guys, of course you guys, of course you guys want to see it all be real because you know that everyone sucks and you know that everyone's fucking scammers. Comma is the saddest shit. It's the saddest shit that, like, we're, you know... <laughs> Wait till you guys see the next one. Wait till you guys see. Oh, the next one's unreal. The, the, the you know, the cherry three, the comma three, it's unreal. It's unreal. company, Cherry's an uppercase company. Cherry IO? No, we're, we're cherry.computer. Just the Cherry computer. No, nah, it's not Cherry AI. I'm not paying $7,000 for that stuff. It's not AI, it's a computer. We're building a computer. Um, okay, so let's now look, it's a computer. Stop being born by AI. No, it's not AI. So let's read Grok Rock's Neural Networks. Grok has taken, so Grok seemed to get a lot right. Instead of creating a small programmable core and replicating it dozens or hundreds of times, the startup designed a single enormous processor that has hundreds of functional units. This approach greatly reduces instruction decoding overhead, enabling the initial tensor streaming processor chip to pack a lot of SRAM while doing 400,000 max per cycle. Four times faster than NVIDIA's best GPU. How come I can't buy one? I'm gonna make, like my website's not gonna look stupid like this. Look, look at this website. Look at the big button. Buy now. Buy now. Agree to some bullshit. Proceed to checkout. Boom. You'll have that. Why can't I do that with Grok? Let's try that with Grok. Uh, oh, I can learn about how they scammed investors out of money. Uh, I can look at pictures. Um, I can follow them on LinkedIn. But, but how do I buy? Where's the buy button? Oh, they don't, they don't have a buy button. I can learn more. Oh, okay, okay. Um, the shop? No, you can't buy them. Check out ghost.ai. Oh yeah, I added a little note up here. Um, 
Not a single one of these companies has a product I can buy. The current leader in AI chips is unquestionably NVIDIA and they have a card I can buy. So this leaves the question, are the companies banging on a stupid business model or do they just not have anything? I tend to think it's the latter. Remember, unless it's from a widely established company like Apple, secrecy is just a cover for we don't have shit. Actually, I shouldn't say widely established. I should say company with a track record. Because they're like, oh, well, they're widely established. You have to be introduced to Chad and sales first. Yeah, this is even worse than that. I don't even see that. Um, so yeah, let's figure out what Grok did wrong. Up, up. Yeah, I, I found the problem. Oh boys, I found the problem. Because the architecture lacks caches, branch prediction, and similar mechanisms. But this approach places a heavy burden on the compiler. Oh God. I'm getting rid of, we'll have to. The problem is obvious on the first page page of the report. The push it to software strategy never works. Never works. Has never worked. in the history of computer architecture. Stupid! The compiler sucks! You don't want to do this. Build a normal chip with like a superscaler and shit. All right, so we found the problem with Grok. <laughs> Push it all to static software strategy has never worked in the history of computer architecture. Okay, we found out what Grok did wrong. Let's figure out what GraphCore did wrong. Um, so I listened to a blog, I listened to a podcast with the CTO of GraphCore and like it was apparent listening to him talk that the guy's never trained a neural network in his life. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of a problem. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you can't do this. You can't have a compiler schedule. Like, you think that you can, but it's not a good idea. Sure, it works great in theory. Um, no, I'm not doing neural architect. I'm just gonna build a good chip that's just good. Okay, uh, the IPU architecture At the heart of any IPU based, okay, so. They rely on many core right on a many core chip with I, I mean, I already see the problem with it. The exchange with a custom 
weird communications protocol. While I had to get to the seventh page of the report to find the problem, <laughs> I had to get to the seventh page of the report to find the problem. It was there when it's the same mistake. as uh, the cell SPU, SPG. Uh, the same mistake as Itanium. fast code for that. Game devs hated the SPE. Why wouldn't AI devs hate this? ML devs hate this, and they would. Great, we found the problem. <laughs> I own Cherry Computer. I own Cherry Computer, don't worry. The name, we're not that married to the name. I don't understand why that's broken though. I did buy it. It came up before. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe the computer TLD thing doesn't, I don't know, whatever. Um, Alexis of Twitch, thank you for, for gifting subs. Uh, Alex of the store. Okay, cool. Um, let's push these changes to the blog post. Wow, I'm, I'm glad you guys are joining me. This is a new thing we're doing on the stream. We're doing live blogging. That Apple sued out of business? Well, you don't get sued out of business by Apple. No one's gonna sue us, everyone's gonna love us. We're here to liberate you all from the NVIDIA monopoly. Probably shouldn't be using the other way up. Why doesn't Apple just do this? Meh. Nah. I mean, they should. I don't know. Yeah, like the dream thing would be to stick my instructions in the M1. Uh, it, there's not that much real locality, but my cache is the whole SRAM, right? So. Um, my cache would be the whole 20 megabytes of SRAM, effectively. Uh, and like, there's a bit of latency to get to that SRAM, but it will cover it with our super scalar and our big out of order engine. Um, oh yeah, no, that, that, this thing is insane. The guy who reverse engineered like the M1 and like figured out what's on there. 630 element reorder buffer, like wild. Yeah, look at this stuff. All right, so we actually have to learn how to write, you know. Apple also has the Accelerate framework, which is kind of interesting, but I don't think this stuff's nearly as wide as what I'm talking about. Would I be okay if someone stole my idea and succeeded? Absolutely. Please steal my idea. You won't, though. I mean, I, go, go steal comma, right? <laughs> like... <laughs> they won't do it. They'll keep doing the same crap these companies do. Uh, 
the servers, but you can make them for training too. It's gonna be an open source core. You can, you can, you know, hey, go ahead. I can do it better. Go ahead. Um, if there's less out of order execution, so like, you you do need the out of order execution because I want to support my my SRAM load instructions support any stride. Um, so um, yeah, I, I talked to someone very knowledgeable about this stuff yesterday. And he's like, well, the SRAMs are going to be the hard thing. Everything else sounded easy, um, but the SRAM, it, because I'll show you what the instruction looks like and we can talk about why it's hard. Uh, but I really want this instruction and I think this instruction is key to uh, making the chip fast. So my load instruction is this. Uh, here it's written with an MP, uh, a NumPy thing to not use a stupid Python loop, but we support any strides in the X and Y. So it's a 32 by 32 uh, matrix of, of uh, elements. And I want to be able to load, yeah, with any stride from the SRAM and you got to deal with like bank conflicts. And I just don't really want the programmer to have to think about any of this much. I want the chip to all just kind of work, uh, even if you do this poorly. Like there's probably ways you can get a little more performance if you do it a little bit better. But if we have good out of order support, we can have a lot of instructions sitting around waiting for loads and it's fine. Now, am I actually planning to make a chip company? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, what do y'all think? I mean, if I get to like this point and I really can make this FPGA outperform a 3090 at like a bunch of common networks, hell yeah. How we get to manufacture the chips? Don't work with a company to do it. Not that hard. How SRAM optimizes anything? There's no locality to exploit. There, there definitely is locality to exploit. Okay, so a matrix multiplication is n cubed with n squared memory accesses, right? Um, if you're multiplying two matrices, it's n cubed number of computes because you got to do these arrays. So there's a ton of locality to exploit. Look up like writing a cache aware matrix multiply and then realize that my cache is 20 megs of SRAM. It's not that hard to outperform a 3090. Um, the hard part is, well, so remember like, NVIDIA is not like trying to build a chip to do this. NVIDIA is building a GPU mainly for gaming, and they talk about ML to increase their share price. ML is for the shareholders. Uh, gaming is for the actual like revenue. Am I scared of the Chinese stealing my idea? No. What's the worst the Chinese are going to do? Do it better than me and sell it for less money? Sweet. Can't wait to buy a... Uh, let's translate cherry to Chinese. Uh, English to Chinese. Uh... No, 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 not tree, no. Oh, Ying Tao San. I'll buy a Ying Tao San. Let's go. I'll give you, you know, uh, like like 8,000 yuan for a Ying Tao San. I'm paying half for the Chinese knockoff. Ying Tao.ai. Yeah, Ying Tao San. Um, <laughs> Ying Tao computer. Yo, go ahead. Pitch the Chinese, man. Let's see the knockoffs. Let's go. Can the Cherry 3 outperform the A100 Tensor Cores? Hell yeah. I think the Cherry 3 will be able to out, if, 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 if like I did the math right on this stuff, the Cherry 3 should outperform this entire computer. Right, with eight GPUs. System power usage will be 10X more efficient in power. Then they'll draw like 600 watts. Yeah, everyone would buy that for 2K. I know, but remember, we're, we're, we are competing with NVIDIA's next generation at this point, so it's a little bit unfair, but... Tesla ditched their custom chips? I don't think so. No. No, this is all, they built their own. Uh, 
uh, will be able to emulate Cherry. Yeah. So I, I have an emulator. It's kind of already written. The emulator is here. We are going to have to add a few instructions still to do the reduces. Um, so, yeah, we can start. I don't know. Do you guys want to play with some Verilog and see if we can write some floating point multipliers? I don't know. Like, uh, my, we'll, we'll refer to him as the knowledgeable source said that my multipliers were easy and it's my SRAMs that are hard, so I should probably work on the SRAMs, but the multiplier seems a whole lot more fun. Um, where am I learning computer architecture from? Thinking. I don't know. It's all easy, man. Like, I realized that I've just known this stuff my whole life. You just like, and I really thought that I knew it. And then just one day I woke up and I realized that I knew it. You know what I mean? Did I touch on the TPU issue of push it to software? Yes, you can't push it to software. Stop with the push it to software. It doesn't work. Um, IPO when? All right, should we just launch Cherry right now as an ERC-20 token and you guys can buy in? <laughs> Is that a security? Did I just launch an illegal security? Um. <laughs> Jerry to the moon. <laughs> you guys, no fucking speculators. Mm, do a mining chip. Ugh. Save Jerry Moon in you. Diamond hands. <laughs> Jerry computer. Ying ta, ying ta, ying ta. Yeah. Uh. All right, but yeah, here you go. So like, boom, there's your whole business model. Go put some nice slide deck on it. Go pitch it to investors. Um, if you actually seem like you're like willing to work seriously on this, I mean like a hammer was too not specified. Like I didn't give you guys enough of a hammer business model. Like a lot of people emailed in and wanted to work at hammer. But they didn't understand that the only thing I was seeking an application for was a founder. Um, if you're serious about working on this AI chip company, uh, I'm interested. Like, yeah, I don't know. If, if people email me, but really contribute to Tiny Grad. Backspace doesn't work. I did a lot of research into Backspace. It's not ready yet. Like, Backspace is still research. I can't actually start that as a company. Don't, you can't make companies do research. Like, like this is a myth. Um, SRAMs get expensive non-linearly with the number of simultaneous access points. Yeah, I, I know this. And, and this, yeah, th this is why SRAMs are expensive. And this is why, so, so Command Paul, this is why I need an out-of-order engine. Um, I should be able to fix this with an out-of-order engine, though. Like a good out-of-order engine. That's, that's effectively just doing this, right? Because, like... While I don't have the access points, it'll kind of have a cache after the SRAM. And that's how, like, my out-of-order engine will be able to, uh, to, to, to deal with this stuff. Yeah, I mean, I started one company five years ago, and I worked as hard as I possibly could on it for five years, you know? Uh, yeah, it took a lot of time. I mean, now, like, uh, Kama is now kind of at a point where, like... I'm not sure what the most useful thing I could do for comma is. I could code, but uh, you know what? There's a few guys at comma who can code better than I can, to be honest. Like, I, I, I'm not like, like my coding contribution wouldn't be that great. Um, there's very little I have to do to run the company. There's very little decisions that have to be made. Uh, like the decisions are pretty clear. We're just steadily improving something. Um, yeah, you know, like like Alex works there as, as COO. You, you think I could do that kind of like, like dealing with the bullshit stuff? No, like we, we just got like better people than me at Kama for all the jobs Kama needs to do. Uh, actually, Alex came up with Nabil Day. <laughs>
<laughs> um, Alex is hanging out last night. She's saying like, uh, you know, all the all the Twitchies think you you came up with Nabil Day. My only job is to shill Nabil Day. Cherry is for training. Our goal would be to beat Nvidia and build uh, training chips that are 10x faster at training. No, I mean, look, I think this is an easy company, and I think it's like an easy flip in like three or, three or four years. It's a company that makes serious revenue. You know what I mean? Like, in this company, I'd sell. Like, I'm not selling Kama. Kama has, like, serious ambitions to solve hard problems. This is like, I want to build one chip and, you know, clown all these people and clown all these people. I just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's just seven people I'd like to just clown. You know? Just clown. Um, I'm going to donate my money to the India COVID relief fund. Oh, wait, no, that was Vitalik who donated a shit coin. That was hilarious, by the way, the whole ship thing. Vitalik's a boss. Uh, it's not the Facebook. Yeah, why not? It doesn't matter. Uh, actually, no. I would make sure that whoever I sold to uh, would would continue to sell the cards, do you see? So if some company wanted to take it internal and make it the AWS special accelerator, no, sorry, I get fucked. Um, but I think there's a lot of people who would, would have that business model. Um, is Vitalik a better coder than me? No. But Vitalik would admit that. You've seen Vitalik's code. Um, he's a better mathematician than me. I'm your coder. Direct to consumer. DTC is direct to consumer. Uh, can I get the talent? I can like do this myself. <laughs> you know? Um, I need to hire somebody in operations who's going to deal with like dealing with the chip companies for me. But I, I I'm not even like. I hear there's companies now, you send them Verilog and they just turn that Verilog into an ASIC for you. Great, that's what I want. Um, what's the next Pokemon Red Run? Yo, I've been watching Pokemon. I went on this whole rant about, you know, the psychoanalysis of Team Rocket. Like, if you look at Team Rocket, you think they're really these like one dimensional villains who like stupidly try to steal Pikachu and they're not very good villains, but you get more into their psychology and you realize like their goal isn't really to be good villains, right? They're, they're kind of like, like process addicts who just like, that's the thing that they do. They try to steal Pikachu. And, and it's not like if they ever caught Pikachu, I'm not really sure they'd know what to do, right? Because like, what would they do next episode, right? But it, it fulfills this kind of like, like, yeah, this like process addiction for, for, for Jesse and uh, James. And then like, you can look into Meowth's motivations and they're, 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 they're just really, they're a, a multi-layered villain that appears one dimensional, but. Um, is Harold a better programmer than me? In some ways, yes. Um, yes, the dog chasing the car analogy. That's exactly what, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, they might be mathematics. This is possible. Like that, that's, that's an interesting thought. Um, Harold is better at a certain sort of like steady, slow improvement uh, than I am. And yeah, I mean, he's, he's all the innovations on the comma model have been from him and the, the rest of the research team. Not really from me. I just show up every once in a while and point out bugs. Um, team Rocket or group of outcasts who want to be loved. It, it's true. Um, no, I think like James funds. I think like James is secretly rich. What makes a developer a good one? Get out of here with your stupid questions. Uh, yeah. So I really got I really got to like dive into Verilog and all right. Let's okay. Let's look into writing. All right. For, you know what? We're done with this chapter of the um of the thing. There is a whole plan for an AI chip company if you want to build it. Uh, and maybe I'll build it. We'll see. Um, if you're interested in joining, uh, I'll say a few things. Send me an email. 
But really, like, the first phase of this is going to be the open source thing. The only thing that I would consider, like, thinking about now is a very competent sort of, like, head of operations type. Um, you know, someone like Viv from Kama. Uh, you know, Viv ran operations at Kama for, for, for five years. Um, she did a very good job of it. Uh, four years. Um, so, like, I need someone like this for, 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 for Cherry Computers. The only one I would hire who's not uh, right now already contributing to Tiny Grad and contributing to Twitch Core and, and that kind of stuff. Um, something like this out of order machine. Is this the, 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 boom, the Berkeley one? Yeah, I was looking at this this morning. Um, yeah, I, maybe. I don't like so. They use this like language called chisel, which is built on top of, it's just built on top of so much shit and like these repos are so big, but the ideas might be good. Um, and like they do have good descriptions on their website. There, there's a lot about this. If, if like their, their website is quite good actually. Like I know I brushed them off in the beginning last time. Um, because I didn't like that, like, I tried to clone it and it's like so hard. Uh, and, like none of this stuff runs on Mac. It needs all these weird, oh, well, so yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll read some of their stuff and like, you can like see what you're doing wrong. Um, Berm, uh, Boom implements the open source uh, RISC-V, uses the Chisel uh, hardware construction language. Okay, so first off you click on Chisel and it doesn't work. Um, so then you click on this. Chisel is an embedded DSL within Scala that supports advanced hardware design using highly parameterized generators. It's only used in academia except for the Google Edge TPU. More information can be found here at Chisel Lang. Right? Chisel is a hardware construction language that is something to do with Scala and something to do with Java and, you know, I, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's interesting though, actually, I did not see this before. I did not know that the Google Edge TPU was done in Chisel. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Derek Lockhart and I'm from Google. Um, parameterization, constant value, uh, etc. Okay, search them. So, pretty challenging to kind of figure out. That's still kind of an open question is. Without a dedicated chisel infrastructure team. So in other words, they hired some guys from Berkeley who liked this crap, and that's why they used it. I understand. They didn't use the big TPU, wasn't that? Um, Let's, let's finish the Grok one, because again, it's most of what is similar to what I'm doing, but... Oh my god, they even use the word VLIW. Do you not understand? Oh, people just don't read computer architecture. The, the instructions are too... Kilobytes. Oh, we gotta just add this. Like the lulls are too great. The lulls. The lulls are just too great. The, the, ugh, I wonder this shit doesn't work. I'll leave one more sentence that speaks for itself. more sentence from the report that speaks for itself. I won't say that speaks for itself. Leave with one more sentence from the report. Risk five instructions are four bytes wide. Okay. We now see why, does everyone understand why Grok doesn't work? 
oh yes, don't worry, just use this instruction that is um, 2.3 kilobytes wide. That's KB. That was scary. Dick instructions. You go to the store? What? Are you going to the store? Oh, you going to the store? I gotta use so much food. Oh, yeah. Let's eat, boys. Let's eat. We eating good tonight. Um. Oh, I found the problem with Grok. You found what? You know Grok? Yeah. The company that you think like might have had good ideas? I'll just, I'll just, okay. So like for reference in risk five instructions are four bytes wide, uh -huh. right? Grok. The memory units also store VLIW instructions, which are 2,304 bytes wide. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Oh, they think you got me fake Red Bull. Wait, I got you. Wait, wait. I got you every fucking thing. Oh, yes. Um, I should say for reference. Yeah, food sounds great. For reference. For reference. That's not how you spell reference. Reference. Of what? Well, I got you a couple things that you're going to like. Oh, uh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> this guy fits a compiler in two kilobytes. Uh, sorry, not if you're using a Grok chip. If you're using a Grok chip, uh, you can do one uh, move instruction. And then, like, what does their iCache look like? Oh, I have 16K of iCache. That should be able to fit a whole lot of instructions. Uh, uh, you can fit seven. <laughs> <laughs> Grok size Red Bulls. What was I thinking? Dude, I don't know, but I need I need to enter on my blog. Just because it's really it really just like like I actually thought that like Grok would be good. Hope you like fitting seven instructions. Wait, can you even fit seven? I want to confirm you can fit seven. Yup, in your 16 KBI cache. <laughs> No, I don't want a period there. I don't need a period there. No period there. Uh... <laughs> Bro, you just need an instruction predictor now and it's easy peasy. <laughs> You guys know what VLIW stands for, right? Very long instruction word. I don't even think itanium, like, 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 I think you gotta add a few more V's there to really, to really emphasize how long of an instruction that is. Yeah, yeah, V, V, L, I, W. How long were the instructions in itanium?
Oh, talk well off. What should I drink? Well, <laughs> Be the end. Oh, it's mukbang time. Uh, so much choices. What do we got? Okay. Well, there's one wild card. Okay, this one's called. This is a party aid. It's, it's, we're having a party. It has five HTP. <laughs> That's sketchy. Okay, we have a Red Bull. Oh hell yeah! I know what's in a Red Bull. Normal okay, stuff. We, this is this is Amazon Energy. Has anyone ever had that one? This is the only one I've had. Um, How much caffeine's in, in this? This one I think might be the best option. Organic caffeine. What do we got here? Highball. And then... Um, oh, highball. This, <laughs> this is a, a wild card in case you actually realize you were too high and you wanted to come down a little bit. It's, like, it's a recess competitor. Oh, I had a recess. Uh, 260 mil. Wow. This is all a lot of stuff. Well, I was just having fun with this. Yo, I told you guys Alex loves the store. I love the store. Oh no. What am I gonna do with all these things? Okay, also look at this. Does this not seem like a great invention? I'm Can hungry for this? food. Pizza, mac and cheese. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna let's put these in the fridge. Yeah, right now. Our dinner sounds great. I'm actually just hungry. That's I what I'm realizing. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, a tomato. Wait, we're gonna have, we're gonna have um pasta. Can I just food right now? Yes. Oh, tortillas. Tortillas. Oh, this is my wait. Can I get a crunch bar? So that's the only thing I did. You didn't get a crunch bar? I we were required another store, but I got you crispy. Where did you get the red? The office. I dropped. The oh, the office. Yeah, yeah, the office. Wait, did we not come again? But that comic con was today. Oh, no, 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 I, I had to finish it so I can just email mm. that this week. You guys all know about Comic Con, right? July 31st. It's like autonomy day. It's Comic Con day. Comic Con day. Um, <laughs> do you want to make if 50 Cent made 100 million out of vitamin water, George can make at least half of that with energy drinks. Right. Um, no, I'm just eating a chip. What? Oh my god, the chip shortage is gonna go away in a couple months. Are people worried about that? So, look, how are you starting a chip company? Haven't you heard there's a shortage? Oh, yeah, that's just a psychological repair. Who wanted broccoli? Someone said broccoli, so I got you some. When are you collabing with Kanye? Yo, if anyone knows Kanye, we were just talking about that today. First off, we were talking about how it's devastating that the love of his life left him. And then we were talking about how I kind of want to go chill in Wyoming, so if anyone can make that happen, I'm down. I got some big ideas. Kanye's got some big ideas. Let's chill. Let's chat. Two guys with big ideas. Two guys with big ideas. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, let's do it, man. It's gonna be like Billy McFarland and Ja Rule, except I'm a good businessman and Kanye's a good rapper. What do y'all think? <laughs> Yo, Kanye, you wanna join my chip company? No, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about, about that. We don't sell the data at Kama, we try. We try. Look, like the data is super reasonably priced and nobody buys it. I'm like, please, we want to sell your data. We, we want to whore you out to large companies, but like we can't even do it. You can just right now put down a down payment for data. <laughs> um, no, the chips don't need more hype. The chips just need more code that works. All right. So let's start playing in Twitch Core. Let's start figuring out how you do a floating point multiply. What do you guys think? Let's call it FP. 
TF32.p. Well, you know what, actually? Let's start with Python. We'll call it TF32.py. I'm going to do? I'm going to add to the readme of tinygrad a link to this blog post. I said I regretted dropping out of college. Are you a shill from college? Well, I just want to try every day to kidnap a Pikachu. You know? I think that'd be a pretty chill life. <laughs> we talked a bit about Team Rocket psychoanalysis. <laughs> Someone had a good point. Like, I was like, so, you know, what would they ever did if they actually caught Pikachu? And it's like, what would a dog ever do if it caught a car? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a cookie? Wait, this cookie is unreal. You got a cookie? It's so good. Oh. It's so good. I'm not having breath. It's so hot when I know it. I might be more impressed. But not with my break. Just warm up a cold cookie, make it a hot cookie. I can do whatever I want. Okay, I got you Charlie, but it's not the officer for now. I'm sorry. Oh. So that's different, Tortellini. That's not office Tortellini. Are that store? This store Tortellini to try? Mm, oh, I've had that Tortellini before. It's good. Is it good? Yeah. Do you think you need one? How hungry are you? Pretty hungry, but I think if we have one and we have like a few other, you know, like cookie, I think it'd be good. Okay, but I also got asparagus. Oh, sweet. Yeah, one and asparagus. That sounds like a good dinner. Wow. AI chip company, let's go. Okay, so floating points basically have a sign, an exponent, and a mantissa. And it's the mantissa that's small. We'll say, that's what got smaller, right? And then we can actually like do, our Python floats or doubles. Python, almost the same. What is what under Python? Where double comes from NumPy? Yeah, I know. Is there a way to like get like a little bit of I want I wanna do like inline C in Python. That would be so cool if you could do that. Let's figure out how you build a flowing point multiplier. And then like, we're gonna generate a bunch of numbers and see if they're like kind of close. No, but I don't think I want kind of close. So also like, I've heard that you don't wanna actually do all the rounding crap for, uh, for AI.
That's done. That's done. That's done. What was my thing where I was reading about how to multiply floating point numbers? Also, just do uh, we could just do we could just do FB sixty four. This makes my life easier. Wow, fifty two bits for the Mantissa in FP sixty four. All right, but now like, all right, so let's see if we can multiply 1.3 times 4.5. Who knows what 1.3 times 4.5 is? C equals A times B. All right, so we're gonna probably spend about an hour implementing that, but by hand, instead of just using all of Python's cheating. Wow, we're gonna end up with 5.85.0005. Wow, I don't even know the basic, like, ideas of this stuff. Um, all right, so in Python, how can I actually access the bit representation of this? You know what? Why am I doing this in Python? I should do it in C. And then we don't have to deal with stupid... Yeah. Guys, you get to see me code in C. Plus plus. We don't do plus plus around here. Binance Smart Chain. Uh, I wish there was just like a command to like, do I want to do the a dot out and then then mask out a dot out? All right, I'll make it all bigger. Doesn't my shit compile? Because I implicitly de declared printf. Oh. What? That's not C. You gotta put commas in C, not percents. Alright, 5.85. See, that's because they're not doubles. But if we made them all doubles, we'd get that same weird 0.5 all the way at the end. Or not. I don't know, I don't wanna to ask too many questions about that. Okay, so what I should be able to do is say, um, unit32t. Oh, you didn't include standard int. That should work, right? So 3FA66666 times 409 equals that. This is like some like sophomore comp sci homework. So I hope you all can, can play along. Oh, I'm printing float, not double. Oh, I see what I did, you're right. Printf was casting it for me, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, Let's just write something called FP. Now I assume, okay, so we wanna do 
23 bits. This is how you get 23 bits. Like that. Doesn't seem right. Uh, is this not? You guys telling me that my my parens have the wrong? Okay, those seem more plausible. Floating point multiplication. What are biased exponents? We hate biased shit. So. We want to add the exponents. Um, so let's actually just make a few macros called like E of A, which is this. Um, M of A, which is this, and S of A, which is this. Let's use my macros, confirm that I'm getting the same thing. Floating point multiplication. Add the exponents. E F A plus E F B. Multiply the mantises. Oh wow, so it really is the mantissa where all your all your uh, stuff is expensive. Because adders are cheap. Especially an 8-bit adder, that's nothing. If I wanted a bigger exponent, I could have it. Wow. And that's what they, they, they use floating point 16? That's pathetic. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, because the only difference between TF32 and uh, floating point 16 is that it has a bigger exponent. What's up? You see my name? Oh, sunglasses up there? No. Um, I don't know how we normalize anything. What's up? You put the aloe vera in there too? Dun 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 We had biased exponents. Hmm. Oh, I get it. The exponents are biased. Oh, I understand. Objects and not a function point or what? Um, and M, then I think the signs are just I multiply the signs, right? But it's only one. Shift 31 or with NE, shift 23 or with NM. Uh, now we can say FP, FCT, and then really for the slam dunk, we say this, that, FCT, uh, float star, pound, FCT, DREF. Okay, well. 
I mean, we wanted to get 5.85 and we got negative uh, 2664525. But you know, that's because we got to deal with the biased exponents, guys. Bias is bad. You all know that. You all know my slogan. The bias will be added twice, okay. So we just need to subtract it once. So that's not too bad, that makes sense. All right, all right. Um, wait, that doesn't make sense to me. I subtracted it. Why is a new exponent that? some other bug. Um, new sign. New exponent. Oh, maybe the new mantissa is what's breaking it. Uh, all right, let's just for sanity's sake put some stuff in here so it can't cheat. I can't overflow. That's the word I'm looking for, not cheat. At least it's less stupid, it's giving me seven. 1.3 times 4.5 equals seven. Um, uh, I don't get it. We multiplied the mantissas. The mantissa has an implicit one bit prepended to the left side called the phantom bit. Oh, wow. Phantom bit. Hmm, phantom bite? Minus has precedence over shift. Oh, Mayfield knew what was up. Directrix 13, what else have you said? You're, I'm keeping my eye on you to be a VIP. Well, we're gonna see how good his, his intel was. We do love people that know shit on this channel. Someone, Command Paul became a VIP and he proved himself many times over to know many things about uh, making chips. He's talking about, you know, how the capacitance of three nanometer SRAMs is going to be mad low and how that I'm not going to be able to compete with NVIDIA. Well, yeah, we'll see. But, um... Directions, yeah. All right, so let's learn about these uh, phantom bits. So we just store the fraction part of the work. Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So you're telling me what I got to do is or it with some one shift shift left 24 shit? Implicit leading bit. Okay, so this is the implicit leading bit. This should work? No. Oh, I did that in sign. Oops. All right, Directrix, congratulations. You are a VIP. You know shit, you get VIP. 
I should have actually waited till this works, but I think it's gonna work. I have faith. What did I do to the oven? Did I break the oven? Still wrong. Still wrong. What I do? This is the right idea, right? Maybe it's 23. Don't roll your own FPU is the hardware equivalent of don't roll your own crypto library. So while I would agree with that, I don't really want to make a full FPU. Oh, trans precision. I mean, I do like this. So we'll, we'll include a comment to this. But I want to understand basically what's going on. I'm not, I don't actually plan to roll my own FPU. I want to understand like what actually, how does it relate to integers, right? Like I've never done this before, so I don't really know. Um, wait, why didn't that fix my Mantissa? I don't understand. Significant? Does the new Mantis need shifting? No, I don't think so. Um, oh, I might need to shift it. I might need to shift it down 23, actually. You know what? Let's just do this. Is it actually really big? Wow, what? How's that negative? That's huge. I think I do need to shift it back. Closer. Yeah, okay, so like you see why I need to shift it back, right? Like we need to throw away all that extra stupid precision that we added. I'm guessing. Person that had her sign, significant. So it is, it is 23 bits, right? So if it's 23 bits, the thing that we want to stick is, yeah, uh, 23 in the front of it. Let's figure out how to get the right answer in Python.
No, I, they, I set that alarm off all the time. Okay. These apartments have terrible ventilation. I don't think it's the ventilation. I think it's just the alarm. Oh, wait. Is this a, another precedence issue? Oh, God. You know what it might be? It might be... Ugh. Do I have to cast these? Okay, this is why we do this in Python first. Because Python has integers the way integers were meant to be raised. That's a huge number. We shift that left 23. And now, let's see that in hex. No. Kind of, though. We're close. Um... We're only off by one now, which is actually pretty good. All right, good. Well, at least we're making the right... Yeah, yeah this is kind of right. Okay. Um... Gotta cast this one, too. Okay. Uh, now we want NM shift shift left. Okay. 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 Look at that. That worked. The result will be 48 bits wide for the Mantissa. Uh, how do you get 48? We have 46. Oh, I guess, no, that's the 24th bit. Okay, yeah, so 48, you're right. Is casting slow? It's slow, it's just shitty. Um, okay. So, I mean, this is something that I didn't really know before, but it turns out the exponents are pretty much free, and all of your cost is in the uh, Mantissa. Because that's the only one you have to do a multiply. These exponents I can just add. Now, I probably didn't write the rounding shit correct, but the cool thing about crypto is nobody... Uh, sorry, not crypto. The, the cool thing about AI is nobody cares. Rounding just doesn't matter. Um, you know what? We can put this back to an int now. If I add back in a shift, shift, 23 over here. Or not. Oh, because I have a shift shift 23 here as well. Cool. Um, stochastic rounding for AI. All right. So, I mean, it kind of sucks that it thinks that 1.3 plus 4.5 equals... Well, I mean, I guess that is a lot of nines, so it's not really wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. Denormalized form. What's denormalized form? We putting the M in Mac. Uh, well, let's also figure out how you add floating point numbers. So we're just gonna write a little function here called um, malt. Mall is nice. Mall is nice, yeah, it's a nice sounding mall. Uh, and it's cool that they can be ints because the sign bit's actually in the same place for an int. FCT equals mall FAFB. Oops. Cool. Okay, so now let's write add. 
D equals A plus B. I'm going to leave all that stuff to put it here. Okay. So how do we add floating point numbers? Oh, adding sounds hard, actually. Oh, you're having red sauce. We're having pesto. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah. Um, here we go. Floating point addition. Rewrite the smaller number such that the exponent matches. Oh, this sounds hard. That I see how to write. And the sign should be calculated with XOR. Actually, that's a good point. We don't actually have to multiply. I mean, multiply is XOR for binary, right? No, multiply is not XOR for binary. That's not right. No, 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 no. You're, wow, okay, you're totally right. Nice. You take the one with the greatest exponent, you add it to the other value shifted. I, I, okay, I see what you do. Um, Non-void function does not return a value. Well, add always returns zero, so sorry. Let's call this test. At least they're both the same sign. What if they're not the same sign? Oh, this sounds hard. Who knew multiply was easy and add was hard? Do we really need add? Put <laughs> the results in normalized form. Dinner. Ah. Our girl. Mm. Now do I just use multiply to add? Mmm. Wait, when they do fuse multiply adds, there's actually like some. They want me to eat with fish. Should we eat together? Aww. Should we sit up here and eat? Oh, our souls. <laughs> our chance. All right, boys. We had a little debate. Is this a chair? No, no. Is it a stool? That's not the question. Nobody's doubting it's a stool. The question is, is it a chair? It's a chair, too. You guys can see the back of my head while you eat. Yeah. They're excited about cherry. I'm excited about cherry. There was one name hater. Wait, who hated it? Uh, it was a name hater, but then once Rock came up. Facing camera on the big screen? Mm -hmm. Why not under? Cool. Also, Mhm. Mhm. Something's up again. Mm -hmm. Guys, by the way. Yeah. You know? yeah. While you're busy watching me eat, we can um. You can follow me on Instagram. Oh, 
Oops. Alright. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna read the chat. Why don't you just put it up here? If feet don't touch floor, then it's not a chair. Well, I can't unplug the monitor because then everything will crash. Oh. If feet don't touch the floor, it's not a chair. I was telling you. There's chairs, and then there's stool height. There's yeah, but Alice, height, and then there's. That's the difference between us. My feet comfortably reach the floor. My bone. So. It's because I'm tall and I, it's a chair for me. Mm -hmm. Wow. And they thought we were going to hand code chairs. Well, I was making fun of people who wanted to hand code chair detectors. Uh, it's, like it's the same people who think they're going to solve self-driving cars. You know? Oh, let's just hand code a lane. Mm. People could have passionate debates about what a lane is. <laughs> what you really want is a risk five. I don't know. Guys, you know what? We got multiplying working. I think that's actually the stream for today. Thank you all for watching. Um, and uh, yeah, Cherry uh, Computer, check out the blog post. Um, Bye-bye.